Hi everyone, just welcome to a new video. So today we're gonna cover the MCP or model context protocol. It's something that's been out for a while and I just wanted to speak about it. I just give my opinion, just play around with it. I just give you which are the steps uh, in order to implement or add the MCP to your solution. So without further ado, this is possibly um, the diagram you've seen everywhere. And this is possibly the best place to explain uh, the MCP. And I've got to say MCP is not trivial to understand. Um, there's a lot of people asking questions that what it is for, um, what's the point if we have open AI tool calling and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to try to give my point of view, my opinion on this and why I use it or why I couldn't use it on a 13 use case. So. Uh, the MCP is just basically a protocol um, that's going to let us know how the communication happens from a server to a client. That's all. That's all. And which is the server and which is the client is the key point in here. Um, you may think about it on something similar to REST or SOAP or web communications, uh, but the MCP is just basically for letting an LLM use a tool, right? So before anything else related with MCP, we used OpenAI tool calling and Anthropic release MCP in order to provide an ecosystem infrastructure and a way to group uh, all the common functions that you would have on an OpenAI kind of environment uh, so that you can make everything uh, more, um, what to say, more organized. Uh, in terms of the code, how the communication happens between the LLM and the tools and all that kind of stuff. So um, MCP has evolved a lot. Uh, there's a lot of servers now out there. There is a lot of client implementations out there. So the main point in here is we're going to try to communicate a client with a server. All right. And this server is going to provide us access to a certain data right? 13 data or 13 results from, from the calls that we make. So the client in this case is going to be an application and this app is going to be using the LLM, right? So whenever we ask the LLM from the app, Hey LLM, I would like to know, uh, what's the weather like today? And the LLM is going to try to do tool calling, right? And that tool calling attempt is going to make the client of the MCP environment to request 13 function from the server. And the server is going to bring back anything that happened, anything that was processed back to the LLM. And the LLM is going to fabricate or just create um, the answer with the right context. The context is returned from the server and the server has access to the context all the data, but also the context that's going to be useful for the client and the client is going to get the answer back. So client starts a call to MCP server, MCP server uh, brings back the data and the LLM running on the client is going to have all the data for you to have a response. That's all that happens, right? So it isn't that hard, but you have to understand that we are just trying to bring um, client server kind of communication, um, whenever before we just had a JSON with all the functions, parameters and OpenAI just use that. OpenAI is also supporting MCP nowadays. Um, so yeah, this is great. This is cool. Does it have any disadvantage? Yes, it has. Some potential vulnerabilities have been found on the MCP. Uh, protocol and that it could run or just trigger uh, arbitrary code, but it's still on um, evaluation. Uh, we don't know which going to be the outcome, but that could happen. But that, will, that could also happen with any other kind of code. So just the potential presence of a vulnerability doesn't imply that it just wouldn't use it at all. So um, without further ado, what has happened on the MCP ecosystem uh, since the release? So whenever it was created by Anthropic, Anthropic just gave the protocol um, so everyone could implement clients 
and servers. Uh, the servers are going to be the gateways to the data. The clients are going to be the gateways for ELM to get the data. And there's been a lot of implementations. So one of them, the one I'm going to use today, is this one. Uh, the MCP CLI. This is a repo. This is a great repo. And there are others. I found today this one that seems pretty cool and exciting, but I haven't used it. So this one is cool. I'm going to still use it in the future because I think it has everything I need uh, in order to engage any other LLM that is not anthropic based uh, with um, the MCP ecosystem. So on the beginning, only anthropic with the cloud desktop application, you could use MCP and they also released the protocol so that people implemented the clients and the servers so now you can implement any communication from any other LLM that supports tool calling with any other MCP server and it doesn't have to be Cloud 3.5, 3.7 or 3.6 whatever version they are on right now I'm not quite useful to proprietary LLMs because I don't use them I prefer to go local um, so yeah but that's pretty much it so What's going to happen, we're going to clone this. Uh, we're also going to, I just have it already, but you should do a pip install with this. Uh, you should just have the CLI ready. And then you could try to run this in this manner. I'm just going to do it on a different way. I just have the command here. So EUB run main pi. Um, the server we're going to use is the SQLite. And the provider is going to be Llama. And the model is going to be 3.1, Llama 3.1. I just have Llama 3.1 in here running on a Llama, right? And what's going to happen? Well, you can see the models that I have. <laughs> um, so what's going to happen is we're just going to click on enter and we see a lot of debug information. That's not something you're going to see. I modify the code so that I can have uh, more access to what happens on the background. Um, these are the things that happen on the background. Um, what's going to happen is the MCP CLI is going to get a server config.json. So we're going to check what this server config is. That's something you need to have on Anthropic as well if you want to connect Anthropic or Cloud Desktop with your MCP servers. And in this case, we need to do it if we want to connect uh, Olama, in this case, Llama 3.1, with the MCP servers. So this is the command that's going to come, and this is the path of the DB. So we have a test DB I just created in the past, and it has data. We're going to see which kind of data uh, with the help of the LM. And uh, this is going to serve uh, for the, this is going to let the client know, hey, which are the different servers that it has access to, so that it can start communications with the MCP protocol. And that's basically the MCP server is going to take care of just delivering the data and just answering the request from the happen from the MCP client. So in this case, what we're going to do is, um, well, uh, we're just going to start again, right? We just want to see everything that happened in the background. And then we start the server. So any server that we tell it to try to connect, it's going to try to start a connection. I uh, sent an initialized request and this is basically what it sends. Hey, this is the init message. Uh, please initialize. And this is the init response message. Hey, here I am. Um, they establish connection between each other at this stage. And basically they also validate the, the responses back and forth so that just to make sure that the same version of the protocol is being used in both sides. And uh, yeah, it moves on, it moves on. So at this stage, he has initialized successfully. And now uh, they start the communication, right? They, 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 they just basically try to communicate and set up this kind of session so that they can share data between each other. Um, so at this stage, we get this prompt. Um, so if you don't modify the code with the debug, uh, you're going to get just directly this prompt and this prompt is going to uh, basically allow you to be, to use it as an LLM. So this is our client and we just can type help. It's going to give us the comments that it supports. We can do ping to check if the server is 
responsive, we can list the tools, resources, and prompts. So we have three kinds of, of things managed by the MCB protocol. One of them is the prompts, the other is the tools, and finally the resources. I haven't used the resources, uh, but that's something you can also do. I don't know much about the resources, to be honest. So the prompts is just basically which prompt is going to be sent to the LM, uh, the tools, you know, tool calling, and then we can just do chatting. So we're just going to start the chat. And this is basically what happens. This is the response back and forth between the client and the server. So this app and the MCP server. I try to do three times. If it doesn't work, it just say, hey, the server is disconnected. We cannot establish the connection. So we are just here we're talking with the Llama 3.1. OK. And I'm just going to go for something like, hi, let's see what happens. Um, all right, so it, it tells me, hey, this is an unexpected database error, I'm friendly, AI, blah, blah, blah. However, I can guide you through the process if you'd like me to explore, blah, blah, blah. So what happened is it tried to use or it tried to find which is the best tool uh, to use in this case, and it couldn't find it. So we're just going to say, hey, which tables are there? And let's see what's the response. So we have two tables, products and tasks. All right, so which are the products? These are the products. Um, we can also ask, hey, which are the data of each product? So we have ID, name, and price. Please order the products from cheaper to more expensive. And boom, we have it. Boom, 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 boom. This is the order. All right. So which are the contents of the table tasks? All right, so we have an ID, a name, description, and code. Uh, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I, I just forgot about it, but this is something fun that I tried to do. So, uh, which tasks are there? Oh, it just failed in here. You just couldn't understand what's going on. Um, what is content? of the task table. Okay, it is empty, right? So there's nothing on task. So what I was trying to do with task is something like SQLite base is try to generate an order there, all the tasks that an LLM can use and just try to make the calls with this SQLite so that it can generate more tasks or it can generate more functions and just store them together on SQLite. So this is uh, kind of what's going on in the background. So whenever I'm talking to it, um, we're just getting a response on the shape of a query. And that query is going to let us, um, it's going to execute on the back end of the SQLite and it's going to give us the response back. And that response back, uh, it's going to be taken by the LLM on the context. And the context is going to be summarized in the shape of um, a user based natural language answer, as you would have with an LLM. So, I hope you enjoyed this demo. Um, this is pretty much everything that, have, that goes with MCP. Um, I know it just seems so simple, but it also works so well. I can tell this possibly works better than OpenAI tool calling, and this possibly is more organized than OpenAI tool calling, but it also has the disadvantage that, hey, we need to implement the MCP servers. There are a lot of MCP servers already developed. Um, you can check them on this repo. Uh, there are other more repos. It's kind of the official model contest protocol from Anthropic, if I can tell. Um, this is community based. You can add your servers, third parties, whatever. Uh, but also, um, there are other, other environments, kind of a marketplace for MCP servers. And for the point of MCP clients, this, this could be an MCP client. This could be an MCP client, an Anthropic desktop, app, of course. The app where you can just speak with Claude, um, that's another one. That's one paid and that's one 
um, closed source, kind of closed source, uh, but this is open source. You can use it with a Llama 3.1, and this this is just generating anything on local on my GPU right here, 3090. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, solving the product cheaper than 20. That still happens. Boom, there we go. <laughs> this is fun. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This is something I wanted to do just to explain uh, what the MCP protocol does, how it works. And if you prefer uh, or if you wish to see more on this, just let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, click the bell button, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.